Well, welcome back to another session of Studio Time where this series is You Got Us Thinking. And so this is a video to follow up an initial video on the yin and yang or dualism that we find across leadership teams and organizations. And this specific video is around the dualism of strategy and culture, this idea that strategy is done in this thread of work, culture is done in this thread of work. We want to talk about, well, what if we push those together and in, in how they normally behave? and how do we generate opportunity and momentum from them. So I'm gonna share out my whiteboard and we'll have a discussion on that. So this idea of taking this, the yin and yang symbol that we had last time from the video, but this idea of uh, rather than in, in these contrasts of dualism is now we're gonna work with strategy and culture and the opportunity that can be generated and why we would be talking about them in this way. Um, so part of what we, when we think, the way we think about uh, strategy and culture is their interaction is, we call it the cultural prism. Um, this is the concept that culture acts like a, like a uh, prism or like as a metaphor of a, a light prism. And, and any strategy you put against that, um, that prism is gonna get refracted. And that refraction will establish your outcomes. So depending on this relationship between strategy and culture, your outcomes can be very good or mediocre or be not probably what you want. So why, does, uh, why do they behave this way? And, and part of this is you ask the question of, you know, the, the, the old question of um, why does, you know, the statement of uh, culture eats strategy for lunch. So we look at why does uh, culture, and I'll use my little Pac-Man symbol, why does culture eat strategy? And the way we're looking at this, well, the answer is, um, and I'll have to write this out for you as I talk about it, Culture has no agenda. It does, it, it just reacts off of what you feed it. So we say culture has no agenda, but people do. So as it's the actions of people that cause this to start to happen, why culture eats strategy. So when I talk about that, let me change my marker here a little bit. And so if I say, well, what do you mean by that? People have agendas. So what they start to do is they start to implement different strategies. They start changing the strategies of what the culture, the relationship that the culture is used to. And then what starts to happen? You get a different refraction. And then so often you're surprised by the outcomes. So the way to think about this is to go back to, well, let's think about it in the yin and yang concept. And if I say that, well, if I think about them as integral to one another, and we actually, as we talked about the other, uh, on the other video, if there's an opportunity to push them together, can we create opportunity and then we, can we create momentum by engaging of how those two flux with each other? So the goal is to be able to understand, and my drawing's gonna get a little messy here, but understand the relationship of strategy and cultures as it's living in with this light prism kind of metaphor. So what do you do? Well, what we found is, the thing is, be aware. Be aware that this is going on. The next thing is, be intentional. And why would I say intentional? Because if culture has no agenda and people do, then it's the people need to be intentional. So as you lead, and I would say everyone needs to be intentional because culture includes everyone. Well, the next piece you're gonna need is get aligned. Without an alignment, you're gonna have the, the, all the agendas going different ways and the culture's gonna get confused and therefore it's gonna eat strategy. The next piece of this is link it over time. Culture evolves over time as off of what you feed it. So link it to your strategy over time. The second piece of this is disseminate it. Culture includes everyone. 
Now, we have put together, leaders asked us to put together, can you have, can you build a framework? Can you build a model around this that helps us do this? And we have come up with what we call the SCIF. It's the Strategic Culture Interplay Framework. And if you go to out on our YouTube channel, on our methods, or to our website, there's a, uh, there's a short video that describes this and how that operates. So we encourage you to do that. And um, thank you for, for uh, visiting with us today and letting us talk about these things. And we will have other videos around this dualism within this series of this yin and yang dualism. Thank you for tuning in.